So today I'm going to show you how to program Jingle Bells using Scratch 2 on your computer. So once you've opened it up, you're going to go and click on the event handle. And then you're going to choose this um, when the space key is pressed. And then move on to the purple sound script and you're going to choose set instrument two, which is down here. And let's choose instrument three. So you drop it down, we're gonna choose the organ. And then you're going to go back over and click on set tempo two and drag that right underneath set instrument two. And we're gonna change the beats per minute to 140. After that, we're going to go down to play note four, and we're gonna change the note for the space bar. We're gonna change the note to 62. So that would be D. And then instead of one, instead of uh, 0.5 beats, we're gonna set it to one beat. So now when I press space key, it sounds like this. Now we're going to create um, an additional four other notes and we're going to change instead of space key we're going to change to other keys. So in order to duplicate this set of in instructions here I'm going to hover the mouse over this sort of brown um, events handle and I'm going to right click. There's a drop down menu and I'm going to click duplicate. Once I do that, another set appears. I'm going to take this and I'm going to bring it right below so that way it's not overlapping and just click on it to deselect it. Now, instead of space key, I want up arrow. So then I'll click on this drop down menu and click on up arrow. And I want to change the note. So I'm going to, instead of 62, I'm going to change it to 66 which is F sharp, and it's going to sound like that. Um, so now I have up arrow and space key programmed. My next note that I'm going to do, so I need to go ahead and hover over and click duplicate and drop down and click. I'm going to next, I'm going to program the down arrow. So I'm going to click on that and click on down arrow and change the note to 69, which is A. So once I've clicked on that, I'm going to do again another duplicate, drop down, and instead of down arrow, now I'm going to do left arrow. So I'm going to hover over this, click left arrow and change left arrow. Instead of 69, I'm going to change it to 64, which will be E. And then next, after this, I'm going to click duplicate, drop it down, and I've done everything except for right arrow. For the right arrow, the note will be 67. So let's see. All right, so now I've um, programmed all of my notes. So I have space, up arrow, right arrow, left arrow, down arrow. And from these notes, I can play Jingle Bells. Now, in order to save this so I don't have to reprogram it every single time, I'm going to take the mouse and go to File. And I'm going to click on the Down menu and drop down menu and click Save As. Now, when I save it, I want to save it on my student drive. So your student drive under computer should be the drive that has your student number. Now mine says JE Money, but yours will have your student number. So go ahead and click on your student drive and you can save it as Jingle Bells and click save. So that way the next time we want to, no matter what computer you get, 
when we want to bring up this program, you can find it under your student drive under Jingle Bells.